Hello. Now, this is where a little bit of research on the old tippy tappy comes in handy when you find vintage items at thrift stores, etc. Pair of vintage binoculars. Nothing unusual about them. They're just a standard small pair of field glasses that you will find in the UK in thrift stores, car boot sales, flea markets, antique fairs, the like. Fairly standard pair. Uh, leather, hand pieces or finger pieces because they're really tiny. These sections here pull out. So they're like sun shades that pull out. It's just your standard black painted brass finish on them. No manufacturer's names on the binos, but more often than not, there's a name on the back eyepieces. Now on this pair, the stamped W and J Burrow Great Malvern, GT Malvern, which is a place in the UK. Now you're looking vain for a bino manufacturer named WJ Burrows. And what I found is WJ Burrows were active in Bellevue Street, Great Malvern, from 1850 until 1927. And you think, well, they must have made a lot of binoculars. Well, actually, they weren't bino manufacturers at all. What they were, Great Malvern, famous for spring water, what this company did, WJ Burrows, they were bottlers and sellers of spring water from St Anne's Spring in Great Malvern. So they never manufactured binos at all. And they were active and they did that from the 1850s until they were bought out by the Schweppes company in 1927. So at some point for the tourist trade, they must have sold binoculars to members of the public. Didn't make them. So from there to there, it's a pair of commercial pre-1927 binoculars. But these metal eyepieces, which have the name impressed in raised letters, must have been specially commissioned by that company to put on commercial binoculars so they could sell them to the public. As I say, they were bought out by the Schweppes company, famous company, in 1927. So the fact that these have got W and J Burrows on the back, Great Malvern, predates them to before 1927. So a really nice item. Good quality things. Brass, painted black. Hardly any damage on them, which is good because normally these leather things have lifted. And what happens is, because they're all brass, people rip these leather hand pieces off and they polish them up. Well, of course, the painted black they stop them being discoloured and when they polish them they take the black off them and they're, re they're really not too bad I mean they're a bit musty inside so they need stripped out that nut thing there which on a big pair of binoculars that will be the focus adjustment thing it's not a functioning item so basically all they are they're just for somebody to to view some landmark or something like that they're not a serious pair of binoculars as it were so they're made purely for the tourist trade really nice items pre-1927 so we'll do that we'll take a look at it so this is just a standard pair that you find at the car boot sale as you see that's leather on both sides that's one of the shared things in its normal position. That's one pulled out. On the back, in this raised lettering, you've got W and J Burroughs GT Malvern. And as I say, they were bottlers of spring water. Not by no manufacturers, but they must have had them specially made and fitted on because that's that's all metal and the lettering is stamped into it so they must have gone to some expense because a special die would have had to have been made to manufacture them because that's not that's not been hand impressed onto a readily available set of eyepieces so they 
would have had to have a special die made. And they likely sold them on the premises. And I don't think there's any point in trying to show you inside, but as you can see, they're a little bit cloudy inside there, so they need stripped out a bit and redone. And they cost a pound, two dollars, for a pair of 1927 binos. Can't be bad.